Namaste yogis. Welcome to your Friday flow. I'm Carter and today's practice is about um, celebrating this body, this moment, this life. Let's get to our mat. All right, yogis, let's start in child's pose. So um, bring the big toes together, fan your knees out nice and wide. Draw the hips back towards the heels, extend the arms out in front of you. Soften your heart, your forehead, belly towards the ground. Let's bend the elbows, take the hands together and bring the thumbs towards the base of the neck. Feel that openness of the upper back, outsides of the shoulders. And as you draw the hips back towards the heels, just give yourself a little bit of movement from side to side. If you're not celebrating every single day in some way, shape, or form, try it out. A chance to um, really admire this body that we've been given and this gorgeous planet that we're on. That in itself is enough. Let's extend your arms out in front of you very slowly, bring yourself up in a table. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're gonna start by just wagging the tail from side to side. So pressing right hip out, left hip out. You can even move the spine a little bit, maybe even move the head, kind of showing off what the spine can do, creating a little bit of heat in the spinal fluid. While you're moving, let's see if you can just drop the belly a little bit and scoop the tailbone up so it's kind of like a wagging cow pose. Mm. And then as if we had a, pal uh, a paintbrush in the belly button and we're making circles on the floor. So we're just gonna start with a small circle and then we're gonna move as if we're making like a, a spiral. So we're gonna go a little bit bigger and when we get bigger, we may have to slow down a little bit. So we're bringing the weight back and then forward. And then um, whatever direction you're going, you're just gonna stop and go the other direction. So start with that bigger circle and then you're going to start to come up with a little bit smaller circle and so when, when i'm talking about celebrating it's just it's really appreciation it's like gratitude and it's like amusement i'm like amused with my body and where i'm at coming back to center round through the spine tuck the chin tuck the tailbone cat pose inhale Back to cow. Exhale into cat. Let's do it one more time. Inhale. And exhale. Neutral spine. Knees come a little closer together. Extend your right leg behind you. Roll the ankle, wiggle the toes, and flex the foot. Root down into the right hand and extend the left arm out in front of you, kind of like you're gonna shake someone's hand. Find the extension and link through the right shoulder, so keep pressing the floor away. Inhale, lift the leg and arm a little bit more. On the exhalation, take the right knee underneath the body and see if that left elbow can touch the kneecap. Inhale, extend and lengthen, lift. Let's do it again, round and squeeze. See if that elbow can get a little higher up on the thigh. And then inhale, extend, and lengthen. They say all good things happen in threes. So let's do it again. Round and squeeze. And this time maybe the elbow on the outside of the right thigh. Inhale, extend, and lengthen. Stay here. Right knee bends. Left hand reaches back. Wraps foot, ankle, or shin. Invite the heel towards the hip. Lift the thigh. Lift the chin and chest. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Exhale, let it go. Left hand comes down. Right knee towards the belly chest. Right foot steps forward. Hands stay down. Hips sink forward and down as you straighten that left knee a little bit. And draw that left hip bone towards the floor. Now, let's keep our left toes pointed. 
and we're going to press down into the left foot and then we're going to just lift that left knee off the ground so you're not rolling over the toes but you're going to drop that hip and find that extension in the link so you're getting the front part of the left leg hip flexor quadricep from the ankle and then drop that left knee down make sure your right ankle is right underneath your right knee or maybe a little in front and then start to lift the torso up now this may really show up in that left hip flexor the more we lift the torso up the more this stretch is going to show up so i want you to be careful of the curvature of your back because this becomes so tight we sometimes kind of like drop the belly and have this big curve so we're going to draw the ribs and the belly in and we're going to tuck that pelvis and it'll really show up in the top of that left hip flexor now to ignite this leg push the left foot into the ground Woo -hoo -hoo. you can sink the hips forward for more sensation you can draw them back for less sensation this is party right this is a great celebration <laughs> The celebration is going to be after class. <laughs> We're celebrating that the idea that this is tight to help loosen up the lower back. All right. It's like, thank goodness I have it and I'm aware of it. <laughs> all right. Let's take the belly, the chest to the right thigh. Hands come down, block or floor, whatever you can get a hold of. Draw the hips back as the right knee gets a little straighter so you get some sensation in your right hamstring. So I don't need your right knee to be straight unless you're really open through hamstrings. But I would like you to roll onto that right heel to start to wake up that calf a little bit. So you can kind of, kind of fluctuate on how much you're flexing the foot depending on the sensation in the calf. So once you're there, you draw your right hip back and your left hip forward. So you're trying to square the hips to the front of the mat. Then soften or press the torso towards the right thigh. Once you're there, straighten and bend the knee a little bit. Find the sensation that's working for you today. And then give yourself one more deep, full breath. Mm -hmm. I should say this is like preparation to celebration. <laughs> Right knee bends, right foot finds the floor, roll over your left toes, lift your left knee, and then lift your torso on up. So you're in a crescent warrior. Let's extend and lengthen through arms. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Squeeze the shoulder blades, straighten the elbows, hinge over that right leg. A little bit of power as you bend and straighten the right knee, just to find out where you're at. Inhale, come on up, release your arms, stretch them up nice and tall. Twist to the right, open up your arms, look for your right thumb. Take this right hand on the hip, reach the left arm up towards the ceiling. This may be a good spot for you to hang out. For a little bit more, slide the right hand behind the back, maybe around the left hip bone. Gently twist a little bit more as you look underneath your right shoulder towards your left heel. And then bend your left elbow and cradle your head as you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Ooh. Exhale, let it all go. Hands surround your right foot as you step back into plank. Lift the chin, lift the gaze, give yourself a breath or two here. As you tuck the tailbone, lift the chin and lift the gaze. One deep full breath. And we're going to move through chaturanga so lower halfway down so the triceps are about parallel to the earth and then roll over the toes straighten the elbows and lengthen through the spine so thighs and knees are off the ground and we're nice and long chin towards chest roll over the toes and lift the hips down dog three breaths here movement or stillness whatever's working Bend and straighten knees, wag the tail, shake the head. Mm. Ah. This is a little bit more like celebration here. <laughs> knees down, table pose. Wag the tail again, side to side. Let's just roll through a few cat cows. Inhale, belly drops, lift the heart, chin and chest. Exhale, round and squeeze. 
It's your own breath pattern. You're just moving the breath and body together as one. It's finding this connection. All right. Back to center. Knees a little closer together. Extend your left leg behind you. Move that left hand so it comes underneath your shoulder and then extend your right arm out in front of you. you roll the wrist, wiggle the toes, wiggle the fingers. Inhale, lift a little higher. Exhale, left knee comes underneath the body. Right elbow tries to touch the kneecap. Inhale, extend, lengthen, and lift. Exhale, round and squeeze again. Elbow towards the upper thigh. Inhale, Extend and lengthen. Let's do it one more time. Exhale, round and squeeze, maybe on the outside of the left thigh. Inhale, extend, lengthen. And then stay here for a moment. It's balance pose, it's spinal balance. Left knee bends, right hand reaches back, foot, ankle, or shin. Invite the heel towards the hip. Lift the thigh, push the foot into the hand, lift the heart. Keep extending through the left shoulder. Relax the jaw. Mm. Let it go. Left hand comes down. Uh, sorry, right hand comes down. Left knee towards belly chest. Step the foot forward. Hands stay down. Hips sink forward and down. So full extension of this back leg. If the left knee passes the left ankle, scoot it forward. And then once again, we're going to keep the left, the right toes pointed. We're going to push the top of the foot into the ground and we're going to lift that knee. Once we lift the knee, drop the hips. So you get that length and extension through the front of the right leg. Mm -hmm. Right knee drops down. Again, make sure the left ankle is in front of that left knee or right underneath it. Hands come up to the left thigh. All right, so if you're really tight in hip flexor, you may have to scoot the hips back a little. Ribs and belly draw in, tuck the tailbone, and then ease the hips forward until you find the sensation that works. Hmm. And always adjustments if you need it. If you're feeling it in the top of the right, or if you're feeling it in the right kneecap, roll your mat over or slide something soft underneath the kneecap. Hmm. Press the top of the right foot into the ground to activate that right leg. Hmm. Awesome. Take the belly chest to the right thigh. Hands come down around that left foot. If you have two blocks, you can go there. And then draw the hips back as that left knee gets a little straighter. And we're just waiting to feel some subtle sensation and then we pause there because we'll get deeper if we need to. Roll under that left heel, flex the left foot until you feel something in the calf. Square your hip bones, so left hip back, right hip forward. Then for more sensation, you're softening or pressing the belly, the chest towards that left thigh. And to explore the sensation of the back of the leg, bend and straighten the left knee. Find that spot that... Um, Gives you a sense of like, that feels awesome. I want to celebrate that sensation. <laughs> that, that should be like the goal of every asana. Find the sensation where you're like, I, I need to celebrate. <laughs> that sensation, perfect. Oh my gosh. Let's do a celebration. Where are the streamers? I need some confetti. <laughs> Somebody blow a whistle. This is awesome. <laughs> Another breath. Keep celebrating. <laughs> mm. All right. Bend the left knee, root down through the left foot. Now roll over your right toes, lift your right knee. You can make adjustments to make sure you're stable, and then crescent warrior, come on up. Arms reach up. Mm. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Straighten the elbows. Hinge a little bit at the waist. Arms can come off the lower back to open up through the shoulders. One more deep, full breath. Mm. Inhale, lift the torso on up. Release your arms. Stretch them up nice and tall. Twist to the left. Arms open up. A little bit of a balance pose here. And then you got options. Left hand to left hip. 
right arm reaches up. Maybe this is perfect, you can stay right here. Or left hand slides behind the back, give yourself a little bit more of a twist. So the gaze or drishti is towards the right heel underneath that left shoulder. And then bend that right elbow, cradle the head, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Mm. Nice. Exhale, both hands down around that left foot. Step it back. Plank. Breath or two. Keep it in plank. Let's do pigeon right side. So right chin comes forward. Drop the left knee. Point the left toes. Drop the elbows down. Big inhale, slow exhale. Now I've been watching some of the past videos I've been doing and it seems like I talk so much in pigeons so today I'm not <laughs> just breathe a moment here One more breath. All right, hands on your shoulders, gently lift yourself on up. Bend and straighten the left knee. This may be open, we've already done a hip uh, flexor opener, so this may be open if it, if it is, reach back with the left hand and grab foot, ankle, or shin. Hip drops, lengthen through torso, heel towards hip. If it's, this ain't working for you today, maybe just stay nice and tall here as you still have this hip opener. Mm. And then exhale, let it go. And drop to your right hip and sweep this left leg around so that left ankle is nice and high in your right thigh. So moving th through a, into a twist here, if you ever have any issues with your right knee, just straighten the right leg. Right? So wherever you're at, I want the ankle to be nice and high in the thigh. Take the left hand to the floor, either by the hip or by the spine. Take your right hand, hold the knee, draw the belly in, and try to move your belly button on the opposite side of that left thigh. If you're feeling like you need a little bit more sensation through the twist, take the crease of your right elbow around that left knee and squeeze the left thigh towards the belly chest. Hmm. One more deep, full breath. Um, focus is the vital organs in the belly, drawing it in and up. Nice. Inhale, come back to center. Take both hands behind you. Lean back, unfold the legs, feet to the floor. Windshield wiper your knees side to side. Awesome. Back to center. Hands underneath the thighs or maybe even the backs of the knees. Lean back, and we're just going to focus right now on balancing on the hips. So you're just going to lift your feet up off the ground. Once you're fairly balanced, flex your feet. Lift your shins up so they're parallel to the floor. Then lift your heart, lengthen through the spine, relax your jaw, and then get a little lighter on the hands. If your lower back feels pretty good, then you can extend the arms out in front of you. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, roll wrists and ankles. Another breath. Find the spot where you just want to celebrate. You're like, oh my God, boat pose is so awesome. Who's got the champagne? <laughs> Cross your ankles, draw your feet toward you, roll over your feet, plant your hands, walk or step, back to the top of a push-up, tuck your tailbone, lift the chin, lift the gaze, push through your heels. Mm. Awesome. Pigeon left side, left shin comes forward, left foot in alignment with the right leg, lengthen, Make sure the knees are okay, the ankles are okay, the bones are okay. Elbows down. And in keeping in my promise, 
I'm just going to let it soften in the pigeon for a moment. Hmm. Nice work. Hands under shoulders. Lift yourself on up. Bend and straighten the right knee. If it is available, right hand reaches back. Foot ankle or shin. Heel towards hip until you feel like it's enough. And then breathe here for a moment. The work that we're doing with the hip flexor, which is the where the quadricep attaches to the hip bone, has a direct response to your lower back. So if the hip flexors are tight, your lower back may be a little tight. For a lot of us, uh, our hip flexors are very tight. <laughs> Exhale, let it go. Drop to your left hip, sweep your right leg around, and then scoot that right ankle as high as you can get it on that left thigh. So we're, we're trying to root down through the foot, we're lengthening through the torso, and then we're gonna take the right hand towards the, let's say, right hip or spine. This is to keep the spine long. Left hand holds the right knee, belly draws in, and gently twist to the right. Hmm. Option, creases the elbow around the right knee, squeeze the thigh towards belly chest, tuck the chin, drishti points towards, let's say, right thumb. Hmm. Another breath. Usually we don't have to hold the twist poses too long. Two, three breaths, just enough to wring out the, the liver, the spleen, the intestines, and flush out those vital organs. Inhale back to center, hands behind you, unwind the legs, give them a little shake. Let's find a way to our back. So lay flat, once you get there, Draw the knees towards the belly. Wrap your arms around your legs. Give yourself a little squeeze. And then drop those knees right and left. Or better yet, let's do circles with the knees. So clockwise, counterclockwise. And then we're gonna lift the feet up towards the ceiling. So this is candlestick. I'm gonna give you some options as we move into a variation of uh, shoulder stance. So if shoulder stance is not in your practice, you can stay right here. If your hamstrings are a little bit tight, you can take the hands down to the floor and rest on the backs of the hands. This is like a, a nice little support for the hamstrings. Or if you have a block or a pillow or a blanket, you could slide it underneath the hips for um, candlestick pose and you can stay right here. The next variation is moving into plow. So you're gonna lift your hips up off the ground and you're gonna bring your feet up over your head and you're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together. So the hands are at the lower back the elbows are drawing in towards one another. The toes are coming towards the floor. They may touch, they may not. And then you're just gonna lift your feet up towards the ceiling. So this is shoulder stance. Right? So you're either hips up or hips down candlestick or shoulder stance, whatever is working. But wherever you are, move your legs in any way, shape, or form that feels good. So maybe wide stance, maybe scissor kick them from side to side, maybe front to back. You could also pedal the feet like you're riding a bicycle, clockwise, counterclockwise, or forwards and backs. I don't know if riding a bike is clockwise, counterclockwise. Or you can do circles with the legs. 
So you got two more breaths wherever you are. And so for everybody in shoulder stance, we're going to move together first. If you're in candlestick, stay right there. We're going to meet you in a moment. So shoulder standers, toes back over the head into plow. Bend the knees so the knees can come by the temples of the forehead. If you can stay here, maybe the hands find the floor. One more deep, full breath. And then all the people that are in plow, you're going to lower the hips down. And we're all going to be in candlestick pose. And we're going to move into fish. So we're going to root the elbows down. So fingers are up towards the ceiling. The knees are straight. And we're going to lower the legs down. And as we lower the legs down, push through your elbows. Lift your torso up. And then we're going to look behind us. And we're going to rest on the crown of our head. And then the heels come down. The hands towards the hip bones. Keep pressing through the elbows as you lift the heart. If you need a little bit more, you can lift the feet and arms. One more deep, full breath. If the arms and the legs are lifted, lower the elbows down, feet down. Lift the head up off the ground, lower all the way down. Left hand to heart, right hand to belly. Hmm. It, fish pose can be a little tricky, so if you have any questions, Live in the comments section below and I'll see if I can answer any questions about that. All right, rock your head side to side. Draw your right knee towards your belly chest, squeeze it in. And then let that right knee drop to the left for spinal twist. Right arm reaches out nice and wide, chin drops towards the right shoulder. Big inhale through your nose, exhale out your mouth. Is there a micro celebration you can do every single day and what does it look like? It may be just an internal dialogue. I am so grateful for my body, for my life, for this day, for this moment. And that may be just enough celebration. You may want something a little bit more extravagant like traveling to the Bahamas. <laughs> That'd be tough to do every single day. But you could plan it, celebrate your life with a trip or a massage or slipping into a hot tub or eating a good meal or having some tasty tea or something. Inhale back to center, switch your legs, right knee straightens. Left knee towards belly chest, squeeze it in. Left knee drops to the right, arms open up. So really, any celebration where you bring gratitude and awareness to where you are in this moment is perfect. Belly soft. Muscles on each side of the spine relaxed. A moment to just really be here now. There is no better place. Even with the things that we think that we need to improve or adjust or fix. All right, knees back to center. Draw both knees towards the belly chest. Give it a squeeze. Mm. And then Shavasana, heels towards the corners of your mat. And our Shavasana is a, just a very short one today. And you always are welcome to stay here longer if you can. But we're just here for a minute or so. So externally rotate the thighs, feet fall open. Palms swivel up as you draw the shoulder blades together. Draw the chin towards the chest, close the eyes. Relax the jaw and allow the breath to be very gentle. Hmm. Allow the mind to let the thoughts float in and out like white fluffy clouds. 
We are equanimous to this fluctuations of the mind. Once again, if you are able to stay in your Shavasana for another five minutes, maybe even 10 minutes, please give yourself that gift. If your day or night is waiting for you, gently deepen the breath, start to wiggle your fingers and toes, rolling wrists and ankles, gently rocking the head side to side. Drawing both knees towards the belly, wrap your arms around your legs, give yourself a little loving kindness. Right arm reaches up over your head, roll to your right side. A moment to be here now. A little gratitude for all that you have. Pressing the hands into the floor, bring yourself up into a comfortable seat. Closing practice with the hands together in front of you, thumbs touch the heart. Take a nice big inhale through your nose, exhale out your mouth. Ah. Namaste. Mm. Awesome work, yogis. Now's the time to celebrate. Give me a thumbs up if you like the practice. Leave any questions or comments in the comment section below. Make sure you smash the subscribe button, but always with an open heart and loving kindness. Love you guys. Take care of yourself. Peace.